Hi, I'm Matt from Duo Security. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Duo Authentication for Mac OS. Before watching this video, please be sure to read the documentation for this application located at duo.com slash docs slash macOS. This integration for macOS adds two-factor authentication to console logons. Before setting up Duo Authentication for macOS, there are a few important notes and prerequisites to be aware of. This plugin does not support inline self-enrollment. Users must be enrolled in Duo before logging in and their Duo usernames or aliases must match the macOS username. We advise using bulk enrollment or directory sync to send your users unique self-enrollment links via email. You can learn more about enrollment at duo.com slash docs slash enrolling underscore users. Once installed, Duo authentication is required for new console logons, but not when unlocking the screensaver or when an already logged on user wakes the system from sleep. For additional client security, we recommend setting a firmware password to prevent disabling Duo authentication via recovery mode. Ensure that your Mac's system time is correct. You can configure your Mac to obtain the correct time automatically via the date and time settings located under System Preferences. Finally, major macOS version upgrades, such as from 10.11 El Capitan to 10.12 Sierra, or from 10.11 to 10.13 High Sierra, will uninstall Duo Authentication for macOS. Be sure to reinstall the plugin after updating your operating system. However, if you update directly from 10.12 Sierra to 10.13 High Sierra, you will not need to reinstall the Duo plugin. Duo login continues working after the 10.12 to 10.13 upgrade. Duo authentication for macOS supports OS X 10.10 Yosemite and newer OS versions. This application communicates with Duo on TCP port 443. We do not recommend locking down your firewall to individual IP addresses, since these may change over time to maintain our service's high availability. Log in to the Duo Admin panel. In the left sidebar, click Applications. Click Protect an Application. In the search bar, type macOS and locate the application in the list. Click Protect this application. This takes you to your new application's properties page. Your application's integration key, secret key, and API hostname are located on this page. You will need these later during setup. At the top of the properties page, click the link to open the Duo for macOS documentation. Navigate to the First Steps section and click the link to download the Duo macOS Plugin Installer Package zip archive. Extract the contents of the zip file. Before installing Duo for macOS, ensure that the username you use to log in to your Mac is also enrolled in Duo. Open a terminal for your system. Run the command provided in the Enroll a User section of the documentation to obtain a list of your Mac's local users. In the Duo Admin panel, click Users in the left sidebar. Confirm that the user you will be using to log in to your Mac is also present in the Duo Admin panel Users list or has a matching username alias. Next, run the installer and configure Duo Authentication for macOS. In your terminal window, change to the directory of the uncompressed zip file you just downloaded. Run the configuration shell script using the maclogon-notconfigured.pkg installer package as a target. When prompted, enter your integration key, secret key, and API hostname from your application's properties page in the Duo Admin panel. Mm -hmm. 
set should fail open to true if you want to allow users to log in without completing two-factor authentication if the Duo Cloud service is unreachable. Set it to false to prevent users from logging in when Duo is unreachable. Set Bypass 2FA when using Smart Card to True to permit Smart Card logon as an alternative to Duo authentication after successful submission of primary credentials. If a PIV card reader with a Smart Card is attached to the system, then the Duo prompt is not shown. Set this to False to disable Smart Card logon and require Duo two factor authentication. Set should auto push if possible to true to automatically send a duo push or phone call authentication request after primary credentials have been successfully entered. Set it to false to let the user select which duo two-factor method to use after successfully entering their primary credentials. For this example, we will set it to true. The configuration script then creates a new .pkg with the values you specify. Open a Finder window and navigate to the Uncompressed folder. Double-click the newly created .pkg file to start installation. Follow the prompts to select the destination disk and enter your password when prompted. After installing and configuring the application, test your setup. Log out of your user session. Log back in with a username enrolled in Duo. The Duo authentication for Mac logon prompt appears and indicates that it has sent a push notification to your smartphone. Note that you can cancel this push notification and select a different authentication method if you would like to. On your smartphone, open the notification, check the contextual information to confirm the login is legitimate, approve it, and you are logged in. Now we will show you what the experience is like with Auto Push Mode disabled. At the login screen, enter your primary credentials. You will then see the authentication prompt. You can select which device to use for two-factor authentication, send a push to your chosen device, initiate a phone call to your device, or enter a passcode. Select Send Push to send a push notification to your phone. Open the notification on your phone, check the contextual information to ensure the login is legitimate, and approve it. You are now logged in. You have successfully set up Duo Authentication for macOS.